let's get straight into it so now for a dividend approach you need to divide everything into two parts for example let's consider we are building an application called as amazon now you need to divide the entire application into two parts and the two parts will be nothing but front end and back end right so there will be front end and there will be back end right now let's take an example of building a single feature of the entire project so here let's consider we are building a part of the amazon clone which is nothing but the authentication part right let's consider we need to build the authentication part now here in the part of authentication what will i do i'll divide it into front end and back end right now let's go with the front end approach that is we divided the entire thing in the front end so here let's consider we are building the front end side right now in the front end side you will be dividing the front end part into two different sections now first of all will be the brainstorming that is the ui designing right so here i'll simply say the front end will be containing the ui design and the second one will be actually creating the widgets in the terms of flutter so i'll call it to be prototype let's say we are building the prototype right now while building the authentication page you need to think what do i need for the ui design right so for the ui design first of all i'll be requiring nothing but two different text fields if there are only two fields of email and password and multiple text fields according to the user's needs right but now let's consider we are we require two different text fields and a single button let's say authenticate like the login button right so here i'll be creating a two different text field text field one so this will be the entire ui right for the minimal use case now obviously there will be the forgotten password button the login button the sign up button etc and etc but let's go with the minimal approach that is building the two text fields and a button now this section all right so now here you can see we will be having the ui design and which will be having a text field and a text itself right now after this let's go to the second part which is the prototype now in prototype we need to design that is you need to think the approach through which you will be building the prototype that is first of all will you go with the which type of architecture are you going for example if you are going with mvvm we need to design certain parts based on that and same goes to mvc but before moving that you need to decide and you need to clear out certain things first of all the commonly used widgets right so here i'll be simply adding commonly used widgets you need to divide this section into commonly used widget itself right now the commonly used widgets here are nothing but only two different things the text fields and the so here the commonly used widgets are nothing but the text fields so here let's say we are building a text field so it is a one commonly used widget and the second one is a button itself right so here what you can do you can start adding arguments to that that is the parameters right so you can simply say i'll be adding some parameters pardon for my handwriting but yeah you need to add parameters for text fields and buttons right for example the text field one will be requiring a text editing controller you can add it here and also the second one will be the button itself right so here you can see you will be adding the argument that is the parameter of button and the first one that is the first uh, argument here will be nothing but the title that is the text itself so here we will be adding a title that is the title of the button it may be login it may be sign up or something like that and second thing will be nothing but the on tap property for example in the case of signing up for example in the case of signing up you can provide here a sign up function where you will be requiring user email password etc etc and the backend logic and same goes for the login uh, login approach where you need to simply uh, rectify if the user email and user password are matching with the database right so here will be nothing require nothing but simply title and on tap now so far what we have learned so now so far in this section you have seen that authentication will be divided into two different sections ui design and prototype ui design will be divided into the ui design itself that is you need to figure out all the elements that are required and in our case we have two different text fields and one button and in the case of prototype you need to decide the commonly used widgets and also the pattern right now once we have decoded the pattern you can simply go with it that is if you need to divide the entire thing into singleton architecture or are you simply dividing the whole process into commonly used widget based right now once you have done that you need to simply decode the type of elements 
you are adding for here we are simply adding a text field and a button and for the two different widgets if you went with commonly used widget we are simply providing them the parameters right and under the parameters we have title we have on type function etc and etc now this thing will be completely go under the case of the ui design that is a front end property now same thing will be going up for the back end right now let's go in the back end in the next slide so here i'll simply move forward and forward here now in the case of backend, if you divided the whole structure, first of all, you need to de decide what type of backend are you approaching. For example, if you are using Firebase, you can simply use the predefined functions. If you are using Superbase, you can also use the predefined function. But if you are using the custom backend, you need to think it in a different way. That is, you need to add everything from your own for example in the case of authentication we need to add here the jwt or the cookies now it will be depending on you if you are storing that is if you are managing the authentication with jwt's or cookies but it is just an approach that is the dependent approach of dividing a single thing into two different sections right now here in the custom backend you need to decide which type of backend do you prefer firebase app base app right uh, custom backend etc and etc and among them you need to decide the you need to simply divide the graph if you are using it or outing education if you choose custom backend what will you approach now this thing will go and on and on and on on and on but the prime motto of this video was to simply tell you about a dividend approach that is dividing a single thing into two different sections and focusing over that section first and another section later most of the flutter developer do one thing that is they focus everything on a whole they simply say that i need to build the project and they start working on that but that's not how it works you need to divide the whole process you need to divide the entire feature you need to decode the necessity of the feature the priority of the feature and the urgency of the feature for example in any type of application authentication should be your first priority because once you build a complete project and later if you jump over authentication it may be a problem for you because you don't know what type of arguments require that is the type of arguments right now this was just a small video to tell you about how the process will go on now if you want more video where i decode the existing applications let's say blink it zomato etc etc comment down below i'll see you in the next one